In 1939, a war rages in Europe. The Allies fear Germany is developing an atomic superweapon that could win the war. America launches a covert project to build the world's first atomic bomb. Physicist J. Robert Oppenheimer is tasked with leading this mission impossible. Can Oppenheimer and his team of scientists beat the Nazis in the race against time? Follow along as we reveal the dramatic untold story behind the birth of the nuclear bomb that changed the world forever. J. Robert Oppenheimer knew that pulling off a project as daring and difficult as developing the atomic bomb would require recruiting the best and brightest scientists of his generation. He handpicked a team of luminaries in physics and chemistry, many of whom went on to win Nobel Prizes for their other achievements. His first move was bringing aboard the Austrian physicist Hans Bethe. Bethe had fled Nazi Germany to the United States in 1935. His groundbreaking work on nuclear reactions occurring inside stars would earn him a Nobel Prize in 1967. Beth signed on to head the important theoretical division at Los Alamos. Edward Teller, known as the father of the hydrogen bomb, was another Jewish refugee that Oppenheimer tapped. Teller's innovative thinking led to breakthroughs in bomb design, though they later clashed over developing the far more powerful H-bomb. Enrico Fermi, an Italian immigrant known for achieving the first nuclear chain reaction, lent his brilliance to solving the challenge of initiating a controlled reaction inside the bomb. This helped overcome a major roadblock the team faced. To determine the complex equations governing the bomb's explosion, Oppenheimer enlisted math prodigy John von Neumann. Von Neumann's adapted numerical methods allowed them to perform the necessary calculations, which were too advanced for even mechanical computers of the time. Oppenheimer's ability to bring together and coordinate the diverse strengths of legendary experts like Beta, Teller, Fermi, von Neumann, and others was crucial to the success of this unprecedented scientific challenge. His leadership drove them to achieve what no one had thought possible. Before we proceed, if you find our content interesting, be sure to like this video and subscribe to Tech Blazer for more glimpses into the unbelievable innovations that shape our world. Your support really means a lot to us and motivates us to create more amazing tech stories to share with you. Now, let's get back to our video. Oppenheimer and his scientists were venturing into uncharted territory. Every aspect of designing and building nuclear weapons posed novel and seemingly insurmountable challenges. A major early obstacle was acquiring enough highly enriched uranium for the bomb. The team developed an ingenious stepwise technique using gas centrifuges to separate the rare U-235 isotope from natural uranium. This allowed the massive uranium enrichment factories to produce enough fissile material. Figuring out how to start the uncontrolled fission chain reaction was also hugely problematic. Enrico Fermi finally realized that by surrounding the uranium core with explosives laced with neutron-emitting polonium, they could kickstart the nuclear explosion. This implosion-type design became the basis of the Fat Man Bomb. Even determining the critical mass to achieve a runaway chain reaction pushed them to derive new physics equations. By considering the probability of neutrons inducing fission in nearby atoms, they discovered the minimum amount of fissile material needed. This resolved a fundamental issue of how big to make the uranium core. Oppenheimer encouraged out-of-the-box thinking and improvisation to find ways over, under, and around the seemingly insurmountable physics and engineering roadblocks. His leadership empowered the team to pioneer novel techniques that led to success. While the scientists under Oppenheimer's direction worked feverishly to design the bombs, he also had to manage the sprawling industrial side of the Manhattan Project. This included overseeing the construction and operation of giant factories for enriching uranium and producing plutonium. One of the most massive undertakings was the uranium enrichment facility erected in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. This highly secure plant housed tens of thousands of gas centrifuges to separate the rare uranium-235 isotope needed for the little boy bomb. Oppenheimer worked closely with the Army Corps of Engineers to get this complex up and running on an accelerated timeline. At the Hanford site in remote Washington state, Oppenheimer helped establish and manage the first full-scale nuclear reactors dedicated to plutonium production. The volatile plutonium created in these plants was essential for fueling the Fat Man implosion device. Delivering this facility involved overcoming huge construction challenges, including building a town to house thousands of workers. Acquiring scarce resources was a constant struggle. Oppenheimer leveraged his organizational skills and close relationship with General Leslie Groves 
to ensure the facilities got the electricity, materials, and manpower they desperately needed. Trained personnel were especially scarce, so Oppenheimer motivated top scientists to take on management roles. Keeping these covert sites operating smoothly under intense pressure was an incredible accomplishment. Oppenheimer coordinated Los Alamos, Oak Ridge, Hanford, and other installations so the scientists designing the weapons would have the ingredients they required. This orchestration of people, materials, and information across a vast network was key to staying on schedule. In the end, Oppenheimer's success directing the complex web of top secret facilities and harnessing their output proved pivotal. His leadership both on the scientific and industrial sides drove the Manhattan Project to deliver the components for the world's first atomic bombs in record time. By July of 1945, years of intense research, engineering, and industrial manufacturing had culminated in the completion of the first atomic bomb design. Dubbed Fat Man, this complex plutonium implosion device represented the pinnacle of the Manhattan Project's efforts. Now Oppenheimer faced the pivotal challenge of testing this unprecedented weapon. Oppenheimer personally selected the remote Alamogordo bombing range situated in the desolate Jornado del Muerto desert of New Mexico as the site for the top secret test detonation. The location's isolation and distance from civilian populations satisfied safety requirements, given the uncertainties about the bomb's explosive power. The historic event was codenamed Trinity. Crews labored diligently under Oppenheimer's direction to construct the test infrastructure throughout the spring and early summer of 1945. A heavily reinforced 100-foot steel tower was erected to support the bulky 10-foot-long 5-ton Fat Man device. Reinforced concrete bunkers, trench shelters, and sheltered viewing stations were also built miles away to protect observing scientists and high-ranking military VIPs. In the days immediately preceding the test, tensions reached a fever pitch. Oppenheimer grew increasingly anxious that unanticipated technical failures could thoroughly embarrass the project after investing years of intense effort. This stress took a toll on Oppenheimer, who appeared fatigued and chain-smoked constantly. Upon witnessing the tremendous forces they were about to unleash with the bomb, Oppenheimer chillingly remarked, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. At 5.29 a.m. on the morning of July 16th, after a tense delay due to thunderstorms, Oppenheimer made the fateful decision to proceed with the test firing. At exactly 5.30 a.m., the control bunker scientists successfully triggered the detonation using carefully engineered explosive lenses to precisely implode the plutonium core to achieve critical mass. The Fat Man device instantly exploded with an energy equivalent of 20 kilotons of TNT, a blast far more powerful than even most of the project's scientists had expected. The tremendous fireball vaporized the tower and illuminated the desert brighter than the sun in a split second. The surging atmospheric shockwave flattened the surrounding desert landscape. A towering mushroom cloud billowed over seven miles into the sky over the next few minutes. The sight awed the observing scientists. Oppenheimer's calculated gamble had paid off. The atomic age had undeniably begun. By successfully coordinating the extraordinary Trinity test, Oppenheimer and the Manhattan Project overcame a multitude of daunting challenges to decisively demonstrate the feasibility of nuclear weapons. Under Oppenheimer's leadership, his team of scientific pioneers had accomplished one of the most astonishing feats in human history, for better or worse. The course of civilization had been irreversibly altered as the long-heralded power of the atom was conclusively unleashed, 